There are many times in redstone when you need to transmit a signal upwards, and the conventional redstone staircase doesn't always look the greatest. So I've come up with what I am calling the redstone pillar, and this allows you to use this lever down here to turn on and off this lamp right here. So flicking this lever will turn off that lamp, flicking it again will turn the lamp back on. So as you can imagine, this uses pistons to push this pillar up and down, and it actually has a pretty small footprint. So I've replaced everything with glass, you can kind of see. Up here, this fits inside of a 4x2 area, which is pretty great. And down at the bottom, it fits inside of a 1x2 area, which is also great. So how it works is when you flip this lever, this pushes this pillar upwards, and this redstone block up here activates this redstone, turning off this torch and activating this hopper timer. And this repeatedly turns on this redstone right here, which can't actually power this piston because this one is still extended. But once you retract the piston down there, this piston can extend and reset. Your output is simply these blocks right here. You can extend a redstone signal coming out of here. So when you flick this lever down here, the redstone up here will turn on. This is actually pretty easy to build. You need two pistons, some sort of redstone input, blocks for the pillar, one block of redstone, solid blocks, two redstone dust, one redstone torch, two hoppers, one item, and one redstone comparator. So get all of those items, and first you're going to want to place down your piston. So you need to go down to the bottom, place your piston facing upwards right here, and then you need to place down your redstone input. So I'm going to be using a lever. And then you need to place down your pillar. So pillar up. Keep in mind that pistons can only push a maximum of 15 blocks, so make sure your pillar is no longer than 15 blocks. Place in a block of redstone right here, redstone dust right here, a solid block right here, torch on top, then you need to make a hopper timer, so make two hoppers going into each other, place one item in, place a solid block right here, a redstone comparator right here, a block right here, and a block right here, redstone dust right here, and finally, you need to place a piston facing downwards right here. And you're done. So when you power your piston down here, it'll activate some sort of output that you can set up right here. And when you turn it off, the output turns off. Thank you so much for watching. I think this is a very flexible design that can be used in many different redstone inventions, and I think it looks pretty cool too. So I hope you were able to understand everything that I said or did in this video. If not, please leave a comment and I will try to clear up any confusion that you may have. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.